can't remember what I was supposed to be. Oh, yeah, I think I know what I'm supposed to be talking about, but I just can never remember. Run the intro. <laughs> What's up YouTube, welcome back. So today's video, it hasn't really got a topic to it, I just thought, you know what, there's some things I want to talk about and address, and these are all good things as well. And I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't really explain this in the start of their YouTube channel. I mean, probably some people do, but some people, but when you start YouTube, it's hard to, I don't know, it's hard to explain certain things because you know, you're trying to grow your channel, you're trying to do all this and that with it and it's like, how can you, yourself, who's starting up, understand what YouTube is really about? So, I mean, I'm doing a sports channel and today I was thinking of five different things with the same letter and they all apply to YouTube and they apply to me as well and most likely you, if you want to be on YouTube or if you want to... Um, do something, just do something positive in your life basically, if you want to do anything, if you want to chase anything then these might, these might apply to you. There's one saying I heard and the thing is it's in my Instagram bio so if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me now, the link will be in the description box down below and um, the thing is it says don't worry about the journey, no sorry, don't worry about the destination, enjoy the journey and right now what I'm doing I'm actually enjoying my journey, not just on YouTube, but in life as in, you know what, I'm overweight, I know it, so why not enjoy it for a few more months or a year or so, before I actually sit down, I'm not, well, not for, obviously I'm going to lose weight as soon as possible, but at the same time, embrace it and enjoy it, so I'm, ever since I heard that saying, I was like, wow, it's true. So I'm gonna definitely enjoy like being big because I mean it has some bonuses, it has some bads, some good, some bads. But that's like life. There's goods and bads and everything. Good and bad, good and bad and everything. Wow. But yeah, let me get into this. So today I came up with five C's for myself. And hopefully, if you want to take it on board, you can. There's no problem. I'm not stopping you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, it's copyright. You can't do that. No. <laughs> I'm here to pass on something. I don't know. I, I'm not a smart guy. I'm not a scholar. But, hey, if you pass one down to another, why not? Pass, down some, pass something down to the next generation or to someone else so they can take it on. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know if anybody else has done this. But I came up with five C's and this is what I think. So the first C would be communication now it is so important in this day and age and when i mean communication i mean like face to face through the internet but through the internet when i mean through the internet i make sure that it's positive and you're not trying to bash somebody down on whatever they don't know or what they learned or whatever they're doing just you know be be positive about everything i mean <coughs> you will always have something you don't like but at the end of the day, that's life, and you know, you can't really hate on people all the time for this sort of thing. I mean, at the end of the day, all I can say is that um, communication is just so important. Now, obviously, I'm a quiet guy, and uh, I still am a quiet guy, but I've actually come up my show over the last few years, especially since I've left college and probably university. I've come up my show a lot. And I feel like that communication is probably the best thing I've actually picked up for myself. You know, if I've got something to say, I say it. If if I if I don't have something to say, I don't say it. But it's like whatever you do, whatever you want, just communicate. Whatever you don't like, say it. And this applies to as much as basketball, sports, any other sport, and life in general and the communication it really gets it gets misguided a lot of times sorry I'm not misguided misread <laughs> I can't, I'm not communicating properly right now am I so yeah <laughs> but um yeah that's the thing I mean especially over the internet like communication 
gets misread all the time. No one fully understands each other. But at least some people say, you know what, I don't understand you, but I respect what you're saying. And that's all we can say, really. Okay, so the second C is culture. Now, this is a touchy subject for a lot of people, but the thing is, I'm not even going to say bad about anybody's culture. I'm just saying from a point of view, from my point of view, or for anybody else's. So, culture is your background, what you believe in, religion, that sort of thing. What's your upbringing been like? Or where is your family from? Where did, when did they come into England? When did they go to America? What, where did they, what immigration? That sort of thing. <coughs> now, culture is such a good thing to have. And I understand, you know, I will never understand. Um, I will never understand a white person's um, culture more than my own. And, 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 and a white person will never understand my culture as much as I do. But, you know, it's, it's it, when I look when I look at it, I think, you know what? I have I've had white friends who play who I play basketball with. I've never looked at their culture. I mean, not not to say I've never cared about their culture. It's just the fact that I play basketball with them. So I've never cared about what color or what type of upbringing. But I just want to be cool with them because we play ball. We share the same thing. A love for a sport, and this is why it relates to my channel because sport brings a lot of cultures in. And now I, I know there's a lot of racism in sports and everything and all that, but it does bring a lot of cultures in together and I feel like if people just you know a lot of people played sport got to know each other sat down and you know, played with each other using sport whatever sport you do I feel like you can, you can sometimes you can have a better understanding you, it, it won't work all the time you know situations are different things are different but you know it's, it's worth giving a shot so it's like it's like, it's like the simple saying everybody said this before don't judge a book by its cover Okay guys, so the third C is character. So what type of personality do you want to be known for in life and on YouTube? So I mean for YouTube and for life, I want to be known as like you know, a fun loving guy, which I am or I try to be. And I'm not trying to, you know, demean or belittle anybody just because they're trying to do something different with their life or trying to make something happen with this situation at the end of the day people can do whatever they feel necessary that is right to them for them to succeed so whatever you want to create or whatever you want to do that is totally down to you because at the end of the day um you know the only person you can be is yourself that that's what it comes down to that's the basic thing everybody's just everybody says this and it goes around a lot, but a lot of people these days, they want to be someone else. And it's just, well, you can't be someone else. Why would you want to be someone else? I mean, you're perfect the way you are. You know, you know your parents love you for who you are. Your family, other family members love you. Your friends love you for who you are. So why change to be a different character? You know what I mean? I mean, say video games, man. Because I'm telling you, like, <laughs> seriously, this is not like video games because... In video games, you can pick different characters, but well, that doesn't mean you're gonna be doing the same things as that character. So, you know, just just, just think of that every time you play something like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Just <laughs> now, even though I said five C, this is the fourth one, but um, I'm kind of on a it's create and creativity, which is basically the same same sort of thing. But I'm gonna go into both of them. I thought, I'm gonna leave those two. I'm gonna leave that as a five point. Okay, let's just say 5.5 C's, <laughs> for example. But in my eyes, I, I see create and creativity as the same thing. So basically, create is just basically doing something that you know you're good at and creating something around it. Like, I love basketball. I'm into a little bit of fitness. And then vlogging, that's something new to me, but I've always an interest in it because I see like um, other channels but I'm, I'm inspired by other channels and that's a good thing because but the main thing is basketball so I thought you know what I'm gonna create something around basketball and fitness that's my main things then a little bit on vlogs so I mean I mean people always say oh yeah you know you have any YouTube ideas 
it's got to be one thing. But I mean, I see so many people have five, different, five or six different YouTube ideas and it works for them. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be like them. I'm just saying, like, basketball, fitness, vlogs, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it. Because at the end of the day, I kind of see it as one whole thing. Because with my vlogs, I've, I've got a vlog where I'm in the gym and, I've, and, I'm, and I'm playing basketball with my friends. So, therefore... It integrates with what I'm doing for basketball as the, and the channel as a whole for basketball and fitness. So that's what I'm looking at. And then creativity is just basically how can you do things differently? Yeah, a lot of people can film in the gym. I remember at the start or my first video, I even said like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna show myself going to the gym or whatever. But I'm like, I've done it twice now. And that was my intro video and in one of my vlogs. I mean, it wasn't a lot of images, or well, clips I got to show. But, you know, and I'm gonna start doing that, but I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it as regular. I'm not, I might just show more home workouts than uh, going to the gym. But, hey, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, that I'm not gonna stop, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it at all. I'm not gonna give it any consideration, but, I, mean, I did say before that like, it's not my forte, but hey, you know, you, there's nothing wrong with changing your mind and be working around that because who knows, that could be a creative, that could be a creative spark as well. So that's your just, you're just broadening your creativity about the channel. And that's what I'm doing with this channel. I'm broadening my horizon of the channel, the creativity. How can I make this better? Finally, the last C. Now, the last C is control. And the thing is about control is that you're not always gonna be the person who's in charge. Now, let's say, for example, you're on a sports team. You're not. You're not. You're not gonna be a person who's gonna be captain. Who's gonna be taking control of everything. So, the way I see it is this: when I started off YouTube, I thought, you know what? I have to take control of my channel. Whatever I'm doing, I've got to take control of it. So, all those three things: basketball, fitness, sports. I have to take control of it. If I let someone else say to me, oh yeah, do it this way, do it that way, that means I've lost full control. Yeah, I'm open to suggestions, I, I, more ideas and how I could do things, but if I'm not putting in some majority of the work myself, then I have lost control, I've lost creativity as well. What's the point? What is the point? That's the whole viewpoint I'm looking at it. And it's uh, crazy, you know, and, and this happens in YouTube you know a lot of people give you suggestions ideas and then you take or you take people take it but then they don't really expand on it they just stick with it and it's like but you're a YouTuber you're supposed to have this creative spark to you you're supposed to so yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video like share comment and subscribe especially comment because I want to hear your views on this and if you've got more C's you want to add just let me know like I said this is a positive thing so just take these five seasons, use it in your everyday life, use it for whatever you want, sports, YouTube, life, whatever you're doing in life, use them. I mean, I'm sure some of you are probably already using them without even realizing. And the reason why I say these five seasons relate to my channel is because every day I'm trying to do something different. I'm not trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to be creative. I'm trying to communicate with people. I'm trying to create, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to understand people's cultures because I want to bring people together with basketball, fitness, vlogs, and I want to have control of my ideas. I want you guys to have some sort of control, but, but the main control has got to come from me, because I'm the one who's behind the camera talking to you guys. I can't always pick your ideas. I have to go with my gut and say, this is the best one for me. So yeah, um, I'm, that's pretty much it. I'm out.